case, this aspect of your personality, although you are a, a psychopathic narcissist, this affected your relationships. Can narcissists have successful relationships? No. That's a very long uh, question and a very short answer. <laughs> narcissists, can, <laughs> narcissists cannot have any kind of relationships, not only intimate relationships. How can you have a relationship if you don't perceive the existence of other people, if you're solipsistic, if you're buried in your mind, if you have no ability to conceptualize the existence of other minds, in other words, no ability to construct what we call a theory of mind. How can you how can you have relationships with other people if you can't do intimacy because you don't have empathy? If you have no interest in other people because you're too, too preoccupied with the maintenance of, of the precarious house of cards that passes for your personality. How can you have a relationship, a functioning, functional relationship with other people if you your sense of self-worth fluctuates wildly and you are subjected to problems in self-perception, self-image. Um, you, you have an impaired reality testing. You perceive reality totally wrongly. You are delusional. How can you be um, in contact with other people or maintain a, a relationship with other people if you are in the throes of mood, mood swings and, and mostly depression throughout your life when you are unable to obtain supply. Um, how your uh, narcissists are exploitative. They, they are transactional. It's a give and take operation. They discard other people uh, because people to them are commodities. They're interchangeable. They are sources of supply. The narcissist seeks, looks for, for three, what I call the four, the four S's, that is sex, uh, safety, supply, sadistic or narcissistic, and services. And if you provide the narcissist with two out of these four, two out of the four S's, you're in regardless of who you are. Who you are doesn't matter to the narcissist. What matters is, can you provide the goods? It's a little like having a relationship with an internet service provider, more or less. And so it's all the narcissist is, is distinct from the psychopath. The narcissist is far less embedded in, in reality. And you're right that the narcissist is constantly miserable in a state of dysphoria. Now, this, was, this used to be disputed until about 10 years ago or even five years ago. Many, many people, including many, many scholars, were saying, no, the narcissist is happy-go-lucky. The narcissist is, is self-assured and has enormous self-confidence and have, what have you. But today we know this is not true. The recent iteration of the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual describes someone who falls prey constantly to depression, who is critically and addictively dependent on input from other people. The narcissist is pro-social. 